gone without a trace. That's what a Metro Detroit man says about a large amount of money that's now unaccounted for after an arrest by Highland Park Police. The man says the $3,500 that was in his pocket is nowhere to be found after being taken into custody. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Damon Fernandez in for Devin Skillian tonight. Our Pamela Osborne is talking to the man making the claims along with his attorney. She joins us live tonight. And Pamela, they simply want to know what happened to the cash. They want to know what happened to it, and of course, the attorney's client would like to have that money back. After speaking with them, I did reach out to the Highland Park Police Department. The chief tells me he has this under review by Internal Affairs. It incites an element of distrust for people that we're supposed to trust. Carvion McKee and his attorney, Todd Perkins, sat down with us Monday to express their concerns over McKee's August 31st arrest in Highland Park. This is body cam video of the officer in question on the day of the arrest. I got some money in my pocket. Police say McKee attempted to cash a check with a fake ID at a business on Woodward. Watch as one of the arresting officers, a reserve officer working for the city of Highland Park, empties McKee's pockets. You gotta get everything out of my pockets. McKee directs the officer to another pocket with a large amount of cash, about $3,500. Mr. McKee is the individual who announced, I have some money on me, and if you could take that off of me, I wanna let you know that assuming that it would be safer in the hands of law enforcement than on his person. You see the officer take the wad of cash, which they say was not returned, nor was it mentioned in the official police report. The problem with that is, is that there is no, um, no reference in any of the materials that we've seen that any money was taken. We got a look at the report obtained by Perkins, which does list McKee's truck and cell phones as property seized during the arrest. It's very troubling that things that belong to Mr. McKee that have nothing really to do with this case have now not found themselves in any report or um, seem to have disappeared. And now that Highland Park Police have initiated that internal investigation, the chief says he is not able to make any further comments until that investigation is complete. Reporting live tonight, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Oh, Pamela, thank you.